I took some time one morning to organize all my notes. I had collected a lot of notes. A whole lot. Notes are located everywhere in the radius. You can find them in houses, cars, sheds, or even the most random of places. There really is no pattern to how the notes are hidden, which can be a bit frustrating if you're trying to find out the story of the radius. There was also no pattern in the order of which I found them. I can find a random note about a shipment manifest, then a stash note, and then a page from another explorer's log. The logs from the other explorers are particularly annoying because you don't know how many there are per entry. Take the Burned Man Lost Logs as an example. The first four pages are of the same entry, but I could only find the pages marked 1.1 and 1.3 at first. It took me some time to find the other two pages, and I actually found 2.1 before I completed the set. And then there are some notes that might just be single entries, but I could be proven wrong if I find more. I had hint papers above the computer, as well as papers from the missions. Lost logs telling me stories of other explorers. Notes from unknown authors that didn't really fit in with the others. Oddballs that don't really have a gold yet. And stash notes. The only set of notes that I have that feels like a complete set is the Burned Man Logs. I found these notes in the Promove route in the Balotsky Village region, and they tell the story of a new explorer. I don't know why I'm here. I just know that I felt the sting of death, and its parting gift was fear. Blockpost was my grave. I'd gone in unprepared, and found myself surrounded. Soldiers, and emptying clip after clip at the concrete barrier I had ducked behind. The shooting lasted for what felt like hours. A sudden and intense silence fell between myself and them. I tried to calm down and finally managed to reload and poked my head around the barrier, scanning the rooftop of the bunker the shooting had come from. As I focused on every detail in my surroundings, I heard something I hadn't expected. A low grumbling. Where are you? It sounded as if it came from some horrible void between our life and theirs. Let me go and I'll give back what I found. I stood up and looked for the soldiers, hoping whatever made them human was still there. Maybe they saw me as an intruder into their home. Maybe they would let me go. A click and loud pops as three rounds tore through me. Dying wasn't so bad. It was the void that scared me. I waited for the white light or stairway into the fire. Instead, a girl spoke to me, her voice coming from everywhere. She begged me to find her, but before I could answer, I woke in Vano. The story continues with entry 2.1. Vano is completely and utterly devoid of life. Yet everything is up and running. Even the automated market works. I'm just not sure who's stalking the damn thing. There's a room with a computer still giving out mission briefings, although I'm not sure who's still giving a shit about all this. This explorer sounds like he went through the same experiences as I have. Like myself, they have no memory of who they are or how they got here. They bring up a good point of Vano as well, and just in case I forgot to mention it, Vano is the name of the base that I call home. Vano runs on an automated system to assign missions, cell supplies, and the gear I need. I can assume that the UNPSC, short for United Nations Pechorsk Special Committee, is refilling the automated shop and giving me my missions, but then why am I the only one here? My simple guess is that this base is not just a forward operating base, but also an isolated containment for the explorers as an act to protect the explorers and the researchers. The UNPSC would have built the facility so that both parties would not need to interact with one another. While it's clear that the research department can't make contact with me directly, they have helped me out remotely. When I was on my first mission, someone delivered supplies to help me get started, as well as occasionally drop off goods for me around the base while I'm out on missions. That's the only explanation I can find 
for why this place is empty yet runs in a way that I have everything that I need. It's meant to be a mutually beneficial setup, one that keeps me safe and equipped, yet while the researchers get the data of the radius that they need. Back to the notes. This is the only complete lost log I found yet, and there could be more papers lying around from the burned man, but I have yet to find any more. I also have lost logs from people called Ridak Yules and Daichi. Although I don't have the complete logs at this point, I will keep my eyes open on my runs for more, and hopefully I can piece together what happened here. Quick update explorers, remember what I said about not finding the notes in any order? I found the 2.2 page to the burn man lost logs after the video was about to launch, so I'm just going to add it right here. No message I've sent out has been answered by any of the world powers who entered Pachorsk. The few tapes lying around tell me little about what's happening since the incident. The empty black spots in my memory are terrifying. Without knowing who I am, I'm not human. I'm just a designation number. <laughs>